Hello, my name is Mark Ashenhust. I am a computer systems engineering major, computational mathematics minor, and this is my CSE 325 embedded microprocessor uh, project one. Here I will show the code for the um, Morse code project and then I will cut to the physical demonstration of the device. Here is um, the code we can see using um, M MCU Expresso um, standard library files and our first function here is the delay function. Um, this is written um, to and commented out. We uh, enable TPM0, the, the clock timings, um, well, enable the port clock timings. We need it to stop on the overflow, and finding the overflow uses a module register, which we see down here. And setting that is done through some math with the prescaler, which the prescaler we set to divide by 128, which is the highest we can get um, for, for this device. And for a delay, um, we, we set up our delay here. So we start, we start the clock, uh, commented out, I was keeping track of the timings and waiting for the overflow. The mod is how we keep track of the overflow when we want it to hit that uh, timing delay. The next, um, the next function I have here is dot uptime and then dash uptime. So these are our two main um, two, two, two main parts of Morse code. We have dots and dashes. The dot has a duration of 250 milliseconds and dash has a duration of 750 milliseconds. So we're gonna see that here the dot uptime is gonna have a delay of 250 PDOR and we're gonna reuse a or to set and then we and it um, with negated to to uh, turn the light off. Uh, dash up time is the exact same function. It just uh, longer delay, 750 milliseconds. Lastly, the last function is just a little um, help for me while I was creating all the different letters. I was creating a function called Morse break that takes in three different integers it takes in one, two, or anything other than two, which I was using three. Um, one is a delay of 250, two is a delay of 750, and three is a delay of one second, uh, 1,000 milliseconds. Um, and these were, rather than the dot and dash uptimes, these were the breaks. So there was 250 milliseconds between a dot and dash, there was 750 between letters, and there was 1,000, one second, 1,000 milliseconds, one second between words. And then the here I use a simple uh, for loop that lasts the length of the message that's put in. It prints out the message letter by letter into the console as it displays. And we have each letter as well as space and a period. We have a default of a break for one one second. So our default is just a end of word. Um, in that you can see Morse break three. And then at the end of each, so Z is a dash dash dot dot. So it dash break between break break break. And then the very last one is two because it's the end of the letter. And lastly we have our main which sets up the peripherals, starts the timer, sets the LED ports, gets the LED running, and our final while loop, which runs our display function. And the function is placed in there just for any message we put in debugging while we're doing this, it'll just keep displaying the message. So I'll, I will debug this here, and we're not gonna see, you're, you're not gonna see the um, board uh, at the moment, you'll just see me and the program, but the um, you'll you'll see the output here. So I'll I'll get it to resume, and then we can see H, and then when it finishes the H, it'll move on to the E. When it finishes the E, it'll move on to L. Then I'll do L, 
O because our message is hello, five letters long, and then it should restart. And I'll say the message input is H. So great. Um, so that's done. That was hello. And now I'm gonna change it to mark my name, letter four letters, and this one I will show you in, in person. So now I have the board here. Um, apologize if it's shaky. And the program is up here. And we'll see that I'm gonna be doing mark with a length of four. So, there's a board. The LED is gonna be somewhere just about here. Um, great, so I'll get right over it and we will debug this and we can see it display mark. So we have look here, get this going and we can resume and we'll get started. So we're now in the A, R, and K. And then we'll restart it. M. RK. Here. Got the message input. And it'll just keep going through it. 